it goes on and it, it's so fast and, and instantaneous that we don't even have any of the clocks, the digital clocks, change a second. You know, you have a power flicker. I don't expect to be sitting in the dark for more than a second or two. So I'm a little spoiled, I'm sorry. It's taken away an enormous amount of stress. Well, it's a feeling of security to know that uh, you're going to have your frozen food frozen and you're going to have your air conditioner to sleep by at night and uh, uh, have your water for your shower and uh, it's just this very secure feeling. It's a very reliable company, a very reliable engine, it just keeps going. You know when that switch comes on the generator it starts off like that, you know the electric's back on, so it's great. Cummins Oni, the power generation people, the respected leader in power generation equipment. Cummins has a, a reputation going back to 1920, so we're professionals, we've been doing this. People know our name, they know our product, they expect the best from us. Cummins Onan brand products have set the standard in recreational, emergency vehicles, marine, and commercial mobile power. As part of the Cummins Incorporated family, Cummins Onan has the backing of a global organization dedicated solely to providing serious power for all kinds of applications. Because we're a global leader in power generation, uh, we're capable of producing the highest quality and largest line of residential units. In fact, right now we have a line that extends from 12,000 watts to 100,000 watts. So you're going to see the product availability. The customer has a choice. And now, Cummins Onan is bringing power into the home. With the release of their latest line of residential standby generators, Cummins Onan is delivering powerful, reliable solutions for you and your family. I recommend Onan anytime, anywhere, for any area of the country, really. As global weather conditions worsen, it's more important than ever to have a backup in place when things don't go as planned. The gas stations don't run, there's no ice around, and trying to just get the things uh, to maintain any kind of semblance of lifestyle has just been, it's been real difficult, and we just don't want to have to do that. I'm in the insurance business, and we, we have to be prepared, because uh, I have to go to work right after a hurricane. So it's essential for me to keep my family as comfortable as they can, and, and I don't have to, have to worry about going to find ice and food and, and that type of thing. Power outages happen to all of us. Severe weather, accidents, overworked power grids, whatever the reason. The bottom line is, you don't want to be left without power. I grew up in California, so I experienced power outages with earthquakes. And now that my family and I live in Minnesota, we have to deal with snowstorms and, and other severe weather conditions. And with two small children, I personally can't afford not to have power. It's not a, it's not a choice. And ice storms across the Midwest, snowstorms in the north, uh, brownouts out west. Uh, everyone in the country is touched by severe weather at some point in their lives. A generator is going to be there to give you the necessities. The biggest problem you have with hurricanes is usually the lack of services afterwards. Um, it can be anywhere from two to three days to two to three weeks. Uh, we had some damage to the house and we knew that it were vulnerable still. So we wanted to make sure that we had protection. Um, and we wanted to put this system in so that we'd have that protection. The last one we had was 125 mile an hour wind and uh, we had electric the whole time. <laughs> we were without electricity for eight days, and then we bought a generator. For more than 80 years, Cummins Onan has been working at perfecting power generation. Cummins Onan generators are supported by the largest and best trained worldwide certified distributor dealer network in the industry. To me, Cummins is, is Cummins spells reliability in terms of engines. I did a lot of work with contractors and I talked to them and get some background. And, and the Cummins only name always seemed to pop up also as a system. It's been around for a long time, it's very reliable, um, and that's what I wanted. I'm 72. I can't deal with. Uh, with um, Without, without air conditioning, conditioning for a long period of time, and this is for me is a it's a, it's a necess necessity. I've had the all my life, and I've always had confidence in them. They've always worked when I needed them, 
and there's never a problem of maintenance. I point it out sometimes to people, how do you like my, uh, uh, the member of the family here, my new generator? <laughs> That's how attached we've become to uh, our comforts, I suppose, to be able to feel secure in the fact that you're going to have all your comforts if, if you do lo lose your electricity. In addition to Mother Nature's threats, a recent study conducted by the United States Department of Energy indicates that the most prevalent source of future power outages could be overworked power grids. In the past decade, the demand for power has increased by 35%, while overall capacity has only grown by 18%. The fact is that heavily populated areas experiencing fast growth may be subject to periodic brownouts or blackouts. It uh, made all the difference, frankly, because in spite of all the hurricanes that nearly hit us, they were coming down right around here, we have an awful lot of power failures in Florida. It's a constant. It's very common to have power outages persistently and consistently. Right, just even from an accident, a car hitting a power line. All of that, like that. that reliability of having our own plant, our own mm -hmm. generating plant on a site, taking care of all the needs that we have and our family's needs mm -hmm. is why we bought this generator and this system to start yeah. with. We, can all, we also have computers here so that we can hook into our business and continue the business if necessary. The day or sometimes every day, just a little bit of wind will knock the power off. And you immediately worry, oh my God, is it going to last, you know? And that piece of worry is gone, which is terrific. You've got to have a generator. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be without one. So it's that simple. Within 10 seconds of a power failure event, the transfer switch takes your home off its main power supply and transfers it to the auxiliary supply provided by the standby generator. The distribution panel then distributes that power to the pre-selected appliances and lights that you've designated for emergency use. Put simply, the generator generates the power, the transfer switch tells it when to operate, and the distribution panel determines where the power goes. A few times at night, we've come home where the whole neighborhood is dark and our house is lit up. <laughs> I wanted to have that peace of mind that, that knowing that, you know, the house would be good, we can, we can live a fairly regular life during during periods of time when other people are going to be absolutely without power and everything. No noise complaints from anybody in the neighborhood. It's, it's just it's a quiet unit. It's really a good one. But like the contractor said, it's it's the Cadillac of the industry. And uh, we really appreciate having it, I'll tell you that. A lot of mental relief and worrying about things. Knowing that you've you know taken steps to go ahead and make sure that uh, you're going to be taken care of, at least power-wise, uh, when things happen here. We've been through a few hurricanes in the last 30 years. And when you're out of electric for a while, it's kind of an inconvenience. But this, we could afford it. It's, it's a reasonable price, Jonas. And uh, it's just peace of mind, literally. You know if you need the electric, it's gonna be there for you. As we did a new addition, so it's very, it was very, very easy for us to plan uh, uh, putting in the transfer switch and doing the wiring for the generator. So it, it, from a cost viewpoint, it was very, very inexpensive uh, to do it at that time. Uh, I also look at it as an investment. Because it's here and installed and it's ready, uh, we'll, we'll just take things forward and add that value to the property. If you're doing an addition and you want to put a generator in, if you plan it out with your electrician, it's very inexpensive to, to, to get the wiring set up. The generator paid for itself the first hurricane. And we've had three, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs>